When you get in the red zone, sometimes a little trick formation can help. Here we're throwing a screen out of what we call a crazy formation. Okay, we've got people spread all over the field. We're just throwing the bubble screen to the tailback. Okay, but it's something new the defense has to digest. They want to play man. They want to give you some crazy defense in the red zone. Give them something crazy right back. I wouldn't do a lot of those, but a few can help. Some bounce motion. You can see there we have counter tray, which is a base run for us. But we bounce motion one of the tailbacks out, and we tell the quarterback if color leaves the box, hand off the counter tray. If color stays in the box, throw the bounce motion swing screen. Great way to add a little gimmick to your base run down here in the red zone and dress it up. You can see we got a lot of defenders out of position chasing, and we're picking up a lot of red zone real estate, getting ourselves down there in that one, two yard line range where we can make a lot of good things happen. Here, just running hitches. Okay, just spitting the ball out quick. Okay, good stuff. You can see we only had a yard to go. Throw the quick game. Here we've got air raid snag up at the top of the screen. Fade by one, snag by two, flat by three. Throw the quick game. We're at about the 18 there. We pitch it. We get down to the seven. Being willing and able to continue throwing the quick game. Air raid snag at the top. You can see great look at the snag right there. Nobody picks up the tight end. He catches it and he falls over, but now we're on the six. Lots of stuff works. Now we can throw stuff like this, our stick game, fade flat. Throw it out there off a little rollout, get an easy touchdown. Throwing the quick game in the red zone is highly effective because of the way people decide to play it. 